When I moved to London, I came with this assumption that I could express myself however extreme I wanted to and be accepted for that. I remember one day I was just sort of walking literally down my high street wearing a shirt with flowers on it and I'm just assaulted in the streets. Uh, this guy comes up and, and yells at me and just shoves me in the streets and tells me to go back to where I came from. Every time I leave the house now, I think about that moment. People are still being beat up. There's still an enormously long way to go for LGBTQ plus equality. We saw a 55% increase in hate crime in London. I mean, that's shocking. And people think that, you know, our fight for rights is over and that the hate crimes we were experiencing don't exist anymore and that everything's gone down because we're just accepted now. And the reality is unfortunately the opposite, which is that things have actually gotten worse for LGBTQ plus people in London. I don't understand why we exist in a society that says that you're not allowed to express yourself how you want to or that wearing some paint on your nails is enough to get assaulted for. I grew up in an extreme Christian household and I grew up in the church where we were told that homosexual feelings were sin that we had to repress and rebuke and I unfortunately grew up in a culture of trying to pray the gay away. I did everything I could to not act gay and to appear as if I was straight. I reached a point in my life where I could choose to either accept myself or live a life of unhappy abstinence within the church, and I chose to accept and celebrate myself. And I moved to the UK before I came out because I didn't feel like I could safely do that within my family. There's so many parts of the world that don't have an LGBTQ plus presence or support system. And so I think that in the digital world, we can create those spaces. We can create those spaces that aren't physical. We can create pride parades that don't exist in small towns. For my YouTube channel, I want people to feel celebrated in a way that I never felt celebrated growing up. I create a lot of videos centered around gay identity and the LGBTQ plus community and our fight for rights globally. And I I want people to be able to find my videos and think, oh, I'm going through this, or I've gone through this, or I don't have to go through this because I know that there's other people out there like me and places where I can feel accepted and loved for who I am. So I really want to try to be a voice for a community that often doesn't have much of a voice and often is still fighting for rights and still fighting for representation. Find you know, those spaces and learn how to build a community around you who will build you up and accept you and acknowledge you and celebrate you.